So down here I have got this odd looking little jar. That is some vinegaroon in process. The great thing about this is you can work anywhere from like a really pale gray dye up to a solid pitch black. Um, and that's just a matter of how long you let the vinegar and the steel wool react. Take some uh, 4 steel, wool, steel wool, the really fine stuff. Uh, you want to wash it with either some, you know, acetone or alcohol, uh, dish soap works too. And it just broke down and, and settled? Yep. dissolves it. Um, wow. So if you give it enough time, the vinegar will completely consume the steel wool you put in there, as long as you've got the right amount of vinegar to do it. Uh, so on the chemistry end, what's happening is the acids in the vinegar, the acetic acid, is breaking down the iron molecules in the steel wool. So it's breaking them apart. And when they do that, the acidic molecules from the vinegar will jump onto that iron and make a ferric acetate. So another type of acid that now has iron molecules in it. And then that acid and iron reacts with tannins in your leather. But I can go straight on this finished project, sewn and everything, and that thread's staying white because the thread does not have the tannins that react. And to me, that, that's cool. Huge advantage here. 